Somerset collapsed, but Lamanby leads fight back. There was a bit of everything in Taunton on day one. Some impressive bowling from Somerset, but a quick fire Luke Wells 100 was followed by 50s for Josh Bahannon, Stephen Croft and Tom Bailey. And that ensured that Lancashire finished the day on top, 36 shy of 400, with two wickets in hand. The hosts, though, were desperate to stop them, and it didn't take them long. Blatherwick out for Brooks' fourth, well held by a diving Abel in the slips. And Bailey followed in the next over, off stump rocked back, and Lancashire were all out for 373. There had been opportunities for Somerset, but a mixture of poor luck and lack of confidence had probably let them down. Put to the sword by the lower order, Bailey and Croft's partnership added a crucial 95 runs. Once again, Somerset's start was less than straightforward. Just two balls in, Green was gone, bowled by a Bailey beauty. Lamanby and Ali tried to get the innings going, but Bailey struck again. Lamanby out LBW for six. And then Balderson had the captain in the next over. Out caught behind for a duck, the hosts in trouble at the top of the order. There was another for Balderson, James Hildreth well taken by Wells, Somerset still shy of 40 when he went. They reached lunch, struggling at 46 for four. Lancashire now well on top with the ball too. Goldsworthy ticked the score over to 50 at the resumption, but Lancashire were on the charge and soon had his number. A deserved wicket for Jack Batherwick taken by Jones in the slips. And there was another in his next over, Davis nicking through to his namesake to depart for one. Then it was Van der Merver's turn to fall to the 23-year-old. The delivery, a delightful one, his stumps clattered and Somerset were crumbling. Danny Lamb's variation did for Delanger, the big hitting tail ender out for a duck, Lancashire still some way from avoiding the follow on. And then Blatherwick made it nine, Brooks out for one. Azarelli was the last man to go, his innings were 39, more than double the next highest score when he was trapped in front by Bailey. Somerset all out for 90, another miserable performance with the bat from the hosts. Ali's innings summed up Somerset's day with the bat, way out in front as the host's top scorer, Goldsworthy quite some distance behind on 15, and the rest of the card littered with single digit returns, and three who departed without troubling the scorers. They'd have to improve immediately too, as Lancashire enforced the follow on. But Somerset did just that, the performance before T significantly more productive than their first go. Green avoided the pair, and Lamanby opened up early on as they raced to 40 off seven overs. With a boundary slap through the offside, Green took Somerset to 50, a mark reached in their first innings for the loss of four wickets. They'd clearly come out there with an intent to go hard at the visitors, and it was paying dividends. But on the stroke of T, and with a change of bowling, Lancashire struck. Parkinson tempted Green into the big shot. Davis made no mistake with the stumping chance. Lamanby didn't seem to mind though, his innings still eye-catching, all the way through to the break. Somerset much happier with their performance, they headed in at 89 for 1, the deficit now below 200. Lamanby wasted no time converting his lightning start to 50. Bailey turned around the corner for his 7th 4, it had taken him just 53 balls to get there. Another took Somerset to 100, they were really rattling along now. He climbed into Parkinson too, the spinner sent back over his head for 6. The assault didn't stop. Lamanby was making batting look easy all of a sudden, taking a T20 approach to the game with memories of his blast quarter-final innings against this side fresh in his mind. They were less than 100 behind when Lamanby cruised to his 100. The style in which he got there, no surprise really. Parkinson hit down the ground for 6, up to the mark of just 99 balls. He'd be out on an even 100, Wells into the attack and he made his mark straight away. Lamanby out, LBW. And he had another in the over, the captain Abel out for a pair, the full toss sent straight to Villas. Azarali though gave the home crowd another moment to enjoy after a bit of a flurry from the visitors. 50 runs scored of 85 balls by the Pakistan international, up to the mark with a single off Balderson. Once again though, it was the landmark and out, Wells again with the key wicket, Ali stumped. They were up to 200 thanks to Hildreth, a wonderful shot through the covers took them to that mark. And by the time he and Goldsworthy made it through to the close, they ticked the score up to 226. Lancashire now just 57 runs ahead. It had been another difficult day for Somerset, but they'd responded in some style, and will take a huge amount of heart from their second innings display. If they can keep this up on day three, they're in with a chance of clawing their way back into the game. Lancashire though will be confident, they still hold all the cards.